Born in, uh, actually, in the Cottage Hospital, just up the road there. Grew up in Rothbury in Elm Tree House, actually, right on the centre of the village on the front street there. So I was right amongst it. Consider myself to have a happy childhood, uh, long before the digital age, obviously. So it was outdoors people at the time, weren't we? Spent a lot of time rummaging around Cragside, around the carriage drive, up the top, Simon's side, swimming down at the thrum, etc. Got to the age of 19 and I left the village. I didn't leave the village because I had no work. I was an apprentice electrician at the time. Well, I knew why I left. I wanted an experience of the wider world, shall we say. So I joined the Royal Marines in 1977 and thus left the village. Now, I don't like using that word left because my family's been around here for the last 150, 200 years. So all my links are around here anyway. So I was always coming back, shall we say. Achieved my aim, went all around the world, did all sorts of interesting things, met lots of interesting people, etc, etc. However, you never forget your roots. I always had this yearning one day to come back here. And to be fair, even while I was away, I used to come up here as best as I can, holiday. Driving up the A1, it used to take about eight hours to get from the southwest where I was living up to this part of the world. As soon as I hit that sign on the A1, it says, Northumberland, England's border county. I'll have hairs on the back of my neck. I'm back here living, and the interesting thing for me in Rothbury now is looking in on, on what's happened with the village itself. Interestingly enough for me, it's the amount of people that seem to have moved into Rothbury. These sort of people have still got to contribute in the right way, and they've got to be prepared to join the, the community. And that's something all the years I was away from here, I did miss. You've got to have that close community spirit and we've still got it up here. I can wander around and suddenly something will trigger a memory from the past. Events in the year, the big events, the Rothbury Carnival in the summer, the cottage in the park at Cragside, the garden fates, Christmas time, the British Legion parties at the Studio Cafe. To make a place such as Rothbury work, everyone has to pull together. And Rothbury's so lucky we've got this community spirit. Having experienced the lack of that where I've lived before, it is so welcoming, so great to be back amongst it in that respect. The future of Rothbury has got to be bright. Uh, after all I have said about people moving in, we've still got to be careful that we don't lose our total heritage. What I just said, I spent 22 years in the forces, Lucky enough and fortunate enough to travel right around the world. I've stood on the tops of mountains, from the Alps to the Andes. I've been in the middle of jungles. I've been in the middle of deserts. I've even stood amongst penguins and seals in Antarctica. But let me stand on the top of Simon's side, smell that air, etc. And you can't beat it. In fact, yesterday I was up on the top of there, to be fair. You know, I never tire of it. Never tire of it at all. You can't beat it. And I think that's the pull and the lure of your roots, etc. You know, it's it's all out there. It's all out there, it's free. And certainly around here. <laughs>